clean bathrobe. We'll see how it fits into our social life. Ah, that again. You think it's still in the Canadian Navy? Listen, Mac, I know what gets the girls. <laughs> from here? No, not far. One hour's walk. Hey, Mac! What's he say? One hour's walk. Let's go. Walk. You foot trappers always want to walk. Me? I went to BMT. Got this bridge car going there? Yeah, it's the old port. You'll see the canopy here for miles. Hey! Thank
haven't been in love for a long time. How is life in Marseille? Not tougher than anywhere else. But I don't ask much of life, you know. All I need is a little sunshine. You are made for the sun, for the wind, for the sea like me. Not to hang around these nightclubs. <laughs> You're a funny guy, sweetie. Why do you call me sweetie? Don't you like it? Oh, it isn't bad. But you're not like the other girls. You shouldn't talk like them. Was it in the Navy that you learned so much about women? Knocking around the world, you learn a lot about things. You better watch your step, sweetie. Please. Don't call me sweetie. All right, if you really mind. place in this street? Mm-hmm. A little farther up. Do you live alone? Yep. Very much alone. I'm very much alone, too. You? I bet you got a girl in every port. No. Maybe I'm a little choosier than the other guys. Mm -hmm. I've never been in love. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You probably don't care. Maybe I do. That's nice. Here we are. Oh. Romance waiting for you in every port. 
don't believe I'm in love with you. If you knew me better, perhaps wouldn't be. I love you. You do? Just for that, I'm going to go with you as far as to box. No. You don't need. You'll get lost. Don't worry. It's a very tricky part of town, you know. You can walk for hours and never find your way. I don't want you to miss your boat. Come on, we we'll stop at Jimmy's and have a drink. You'll wait for me, won't you? Sure I will. Hey, don't be so serious. <laughs> Francs. No francs left, only dollars. One dollar, no? Thank you. Thanks a lot. Look, put your address down here. Sure. Got a pencil? Yeah. What are they looking at? Who? Those fellows over there. Just a couple of characters. Stupid whistling. Hey. You certainly have been around, haven't you? Here's what they mean to me now. They're still looking at you. They probably haven't got anything better to do. If they give it up, I'm going to take a swing at them. No. Don't pay any attention to them. I hate it whenever men look at you. I'm afraid you'll have to get used to it. To all the girls in your little book. As soon as I know for sure, I'll write you. Thank you, darling. I think we ought to be back in about six weeks. That whistling again. American sailor like you wouldn't mind making a little contribution to the poor people of this neighborhood. Get out of this. Looking for trouble? Oh, quit stalling. Let's have that go. Try and get it. Watch out! Ah! Anyway, 
indeed you have seen nothing and heard nothing. Get me? Now beat it, you! And remember, keep your mouth shut! What's your name? Can you hear me? Your name? Hey there, what's your name? Eric. Eric? That's not a full name. Eric what? Eric Martin. Where were you born? December 28th, 1917. Where are you from? Canada. Then what are you doing in Marseille? I'm in the American Merchant Marine. Do you have any identity papers? My coat. We found nothing in your clothes. I've been robbed? I certainly got that impression. I'm the Alabama. She's gone. I wouldn't be surprised. It's five days since you were wounded. You sailors, always looking for trouble, aren't you? Well, anyway, you found a girl. What's her name? Dolores. Dolores what? I don't know. I see. How did she look? Beautiful. Well, as a description, it's a little vague. Brunette. Well, uh, thin, fat, tall, small. Beautiful. You said that already. Where did you go? To a place. What's the address? I... I don't remember. Oh, she wrote it down in my address book. Well, that went through the rest of it. The usual story. The girl framed you. That's not true. Oh, she certainly gave you the works. They're all the same. That this one. Nasty business. What business? That sailor last Saturday. What sailor? The one you framed. I am not in the habit of framing people. Is that clear? Take it easy. I'm only trying to help you. Do you or do you not recall having gone out with an American sailor last Saturday? American sailors are a dime a dozen at the Kit Kat. Yes, but this one, this one's a nice looking guy. Tall, blonde. Does that ring a bell? No, it doesn't. Why? Did uh, anything happen to him? Two men stabbed him the other night. Robbed him of $250, and don't tell me you don't know about it. I haven't got the slightest idea what you're talking about. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I think you got part of that $250. Are you kidding? Have you taken a good look at me? Do you really think that if I wanted money, I have to go to all the trouble to get it? Do you really think I have to split with anyone? Money. I don't even have to ask for it. It's offered to me. Want a light? Show me your papers. Why not? Here they are. Mm -hmm. They're in order. You're lucky that sailor didn't file a complaint against you or you'd be in trouble. Remember, from now on, we've got an eye on you. Your name isn't even Dolores. <laughs> <laughs> 